Hey everyone, it's Mike here, and I want to show you guys a video that uh, I put out back in October of 2017. It was a storage auction that I purchased, and um, I uploaded the video, and it kind of went viral, and then all of a sudden, uh, YouTube took the video down. Um, they gave me an explanation of what it was, and uh, I tried to appeal it, and it just didn't work out. But the comments got really crazy on the video, and um, I'm assuming people just kept reporting it and reporting it until YouTube finally did it. So what I decided to do today is to go back and re-edit that video, throw it back out there, and show you what I picked up at a storage auction in uh, Tucson, Arizona. So uh, let's roll the footage. I'm on the website here, storagetreasures.com, and I want to share with you guys a storage auction that I just won. It's a 10 by 10. Uh, I paid a total of $160 and some fees. Uh, it's in CubeSmart, Tucson, Arizona. I want to kind of just take a, <clears throat> a minute or two of your time and kind of show you the reasoning why I uh, bought this unit. So let's look at some of the pictures here. I'm noticing off the bat there's some fish tanks. They can be hard to sell, but this glowfish here looks to be brand new in the box. So that's likely um, some good money there, 40, 50 bucks. Uh, appears to be some boxing gloves there as well. Uh, let's see what else we can see here. There's some randomness there. There's a there's actually a deep freezer there. I do pretty well with those locally. Um, there are some boxes, maybe some kind of rug in the top corner there. Appears to be books. Uh, this is a Man of Steel, some kind of Superman artwork possibly. And um, can't really see what else the rest of that is. Here in this picture here, there appears to be another fish tank of some sort. Uh, this appears, this looks like a rifle case. Um, there's one there. Some more artwork, some suitcases. They could possibly have clothing in there. You never know what's in those. Nice looking bookshelf. Here's a walker. Christmas trees are kind of worthless. This walker here looks uh, looks to be in great shape. It looks like it's maybe just look at the tags on it there, which is nice. It's twenty thirty dollars. There be, seems to be a, a grill right there. A big moving box. Another aquarium at there at the bottom. Uh, let's see. Can't really see from that other picture. Uh, here, there's, there's a good sign here. Some DVDs. You're always going to find DVDs and stuff in the units. Uh, something Sony there. Uh, what else is there over here? Okay, that's just another angle of that. Uh, again, this is one of those nice bookshelves there. Those pyramid bookshelves. Um, oh, it's actually, there's two rifle guns and rifle cases in there. Um, it clearly say, stated here, two rifle cases that are empty. So I'm assuming there's no guns in there. Uh, what else we got? Here's the entrance shot here. This seems to be a grill. That's, you know, $30, $40. Uh, there's the original lock that's on there. So um, I'm kind of gambling here just because what's in the boxes, but just adding up, you know, um, you know, between the deep freezer, the bookshelf, the grill, that, and the fish tanks there, I could see some money right off the bat. Uh, one more picture here is another angle. Uh, there's a bunch of, there's a duffel bag here. Looks like some kind of vacuum right there, maybe. Uh, suitcases. And then uh, what was interesting to me was, was the safe. Just what's in the safe, you know? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what we got here today. 160 on this uh, 10 by 10. So I'm going to head down to Tucson with uh, Kim, and we're going to find out exactly what we got here and see if we can make some money. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're at the truck stop. What are you doing, Kim? Pulling out some cash? Yep. Time to work a coffee. Picked up a storage unit. We're heading over to Tucson to pick this up. So let's see what we do today. Clearance. Day, but there's the Picacho Peak. Pretty epic. In 4.6 miles, turn right onto East Tanka Verde Road. Well, look who we have here. Just chilling at the Mickey D's. We were just talking about uh, the area. This seems to be somewhat of a nicer area. I'm excited now. Yeah, I'm excited to see what's in this unit. We're right around the corner here. Like around the corner of Grant and Take Verde here in Tucson. So we'll head in and pay and see what we get. All right, Kim and I are here at Cube Smart on Take Verde Road here in Tucson. 
waiting for the manager to come out so we can pay for the unit and start digging. Uh, this seems like a pretty cool area here. There's, um, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's some kind of cool museum there. Kind of like a western town, maybe go over there and we're done digging around here. But uh, really excited about this unit. There was um, some interesting things in there, some gun cases, some safes, some aquariums. So I'm waiting for this person to, to arrive so we can start digging, digging. Do you know anything about the person that owned the unit or? Nope. Nothing, huh? They just never all, showed back up to pay all, or? Yeah, all I know is he uh, paid, when, after he paid, made sure he was able to get in there within the next five to six days to remove what he wanted. Oh, okay, so you already removed stuff. Yeah, so the pictures are what you see is what he left behind. Oh, see, okay. That's nice to give him a heads up to come and get his stuff. Yeah. Uh, he kept falling behind all the time. Hmm. And he couldn't keep up with it. As you heard, the lady said that uh, they gave that person a heads up before they put it to auction, so... Uh, My excitement has faded. We're not feeling the excitement at the moment. We're waiting for this woman to come out here. She's, um, <laughs> who knows? Um, but yeah, the excitement's kind of taken out now because, you know, I was under the impression that, you know, when you default on your storage unit. You don't get the opportunity to get your stuff out? Yeah, you don't get a, a courtesy call. Hey, come on by, we're getting ready to auction your stuff off. Take I'm, what you need. I'm a little annoyed. So uh, I hope the pictures were after he'd take, I mean, but who knows? You never know. So uh, we were just talking. If this happened to us, obviously we would just leave trash there, right? Yeah. I mean, take everything that you know you could. But time will tell. We'll have to wait until she comes over here and busts off the locks. Did you have any other auctions this uh, past couple days? Um, I had one last week. Uh, um, no. These two are supposed to have been sold on October the fourth. Mm. All right, so units 263 and 264. Get a little gander in here. It's a 10 by 10 unit. Doesn't seem to be disturbed. Lots of stuff. There lights? Uh, yeah, there's a light, no light bulb. bulb. <laughs> they took the light bulbs out. And we got a Wii Fit box. Oh, what the Wii Fit? So that's a good sign. Some, maybe some video games in here. There's a. Uh, safe here luggage so there's a lots of stuff in here you can see here not too junky really no, to be too, honest with you books. I mean it doesn't look like oh hey we hey, got some vodka you got a smoker I mean boxing gloves boxing gloves an aquarium I wanted to kind of see what was back a here rug right here that might be kind of yeah a nice little rug What's this? Freezer. Freezer. Oh, that's the Man of Steel. Oh, that was just from Ross. I wanted to see what these were. What are these? Glass? Let's see. Mirrors, like that's uh framed mirrors. art type stuff. Well, honestly, you know, it's not, it doesn't look like a homeless person's locker. Yeah, no. It looks like there's I mean, decent stuff here. Yeah, it we got charcoal. Pretty okay. Some some electronic something. Oh yeah. Disc changer or something. So uh, we got that safe this? there. Ooh, what's this? Oh, more Glow fish, fish tank, fish stuff. tank stuff. So we got bags here. Let's see. The walker. Those, that's brand new. A walker too. What's in here? Where there we go it? for the top. Must open. For All right, here we go. It's the dead body. Is your flashlight? Oh, nothing. Empty. Just more. More bags. More bags in there. Well, so right. I was thinking baggage. here, because like, what do we got here? Empty DVD, Blu-ray. Something in these tubs. Oh, it's GameCube games, is it? No. Software. Oh, I figured that this was a shelf of like, um, media. Mm. I just saw these DVDs here. Yeah. Some red box. So we got red boxes. Harry Potter! Found Packers hat? Yeah. New with tags. The gun was a bonus, huh? That was a bonus. So... No rifles in any of the bags. We found three bags here. One of them. Oh, what if they're in here? Where? In the deep freezer? That'd be amazing. But some of these have a brand new with the tags. So we're still digging here, guys. Clean it up here. We had her turn the light bulbs in. 
because we couldn't see. But now we've got some light. So, uh, pretty cool. No, the wife was charged with something. Always a story. Really. Oh, no. Hold on. State versus... Don't say the name. Assault. Assault, huh? We're still going through this stuff here. We've got two big Christmas trees. Two big rugs. Domestic violence. Really? Yep. It's always a story. I'll tell you that. Oh, my God. What? Not just domestic violence. What? One count of kidnapping, one count domestic violence. Class 2 felony. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Oh, Dangerous my God. instrument, domestic violence. A class 3 felony. Whoa, what year is that from? Uh, 2014. Maybe that, uh... Maybe I should call the authorities with that weapon, huh? Assault, touch to injure. Wow. There's always a story, Kim, right? Wow. It's a nice bookshelf here. If you could see that. It's like a black solder shelf. Uh, just really a bunch of bulky stuff. There's a grill left. A couple rugs. That's a lot of paperwork. We're just going through it here to see if... Uh, Anything worth uh, keeping. Um, did find some money. There's a couple boxes. Nothing. I don't think it's anything crazy. It's just lots of change. There's a bunch of change in here. And uh, there's some keys. So I'm really, really hoping that uh, one of these keys is for the safe. So um, I'm going to go through this when I get home. Look through that and see if we can bust open that safe. I don't personally think there's anything in the safe. I kind of wiggle it around and there's really nothing uh, shaking. <laughs> so, but I think we've got four aquariums. There's another one right here. It's a decent sized little aquarium. So, we got a gas can there? Yeah, we need that. Some gas can. Yeah, a little barbecue in that, Kim. <laughs> Commercial driver's license manual. I was just telling Kim that I'm like, man, this guy kind of like a sniper's life, you know what I mean? Is that a broken glass? It's not, it's that plastic type glass stuff. It's not real glass. Oh, okay. Because there's kind of some sketchy stuff in here, like, um, I don't know if it was a telephone repairman or something, but it looked like telephone taps. Well, if it, there's a domestic violence case, maybe he was tapping into his wife's phones. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know. You know, sleeping bags and stuff like that. Who, you never know what these people aren't, I guess, until we look through the paperwork. But, uh, hey, just in case you ever wanted to know. Transforming debt into wealth. He's one of these guys. He's got the whole program right there, all sealed. Making that money. Okay, we're all cleaned out. All cleaned out nice and pretty. Even even the light bulbs. So we'll get this uh, shut up here. Make sure I get my locks. Yeah. Move on to the next adventure. Van's all filled. Some goodies. So we're gonna get bust on out of here. Just back her up. Back it up, Kim. I know the problem is I can't see out the back window, so I have no idea if somebody's coming around this corner. Just run them over. You don't have time for that. Okay, but I mean, legit, I cannot see around the corner of this building, Mike. You want me to do it? No, could you actually get out though and tell me? This might be the home run out of the unit so far. Uh, neat desk, desktop scanner, and digital filing system. Just open the box briefly. It appears to be brand new. So uh, do some further investigation on this. Just looked it up, and I anyway, it's like two to three hundred dollars for this thing here. So uh, just this alone gets me my money back, plus some profit, and then the rest is kind of just gravy. Yeah, that's some uh, burner phones, huh? Let's get this old school Motorola one. <laughs> Little Nokia's. Boost bubble man. This guy's burning phones. Freaking running something. Who needs all these phones? Mm. Back home here and uh, going through the stuff. Uh, nothing in the safe, but I did find the keys. So that's a bonus there. Just, I got some books. More books. Ammo. Got some box of ammo here, and that's 30, 60, you know, retail on these for all, all new. What else we got? Uh, got the gu gun cases, 
two gun cases here. These are brand new. There's another gun case down there. That's brand new. A brand new walker. And then all here, I, I have to show you another video here after I list the stuff. It's got some craftsman tools. There's wires in there. I keep pulling out wires that are, you know, it's worth some money. These power adapters. Um, here, I've got some key fobs. Those do well. This here, this is like 30 bucks. Um, this one, I don't know, some kind of phone thing. A Dymo label writer. Sony Walkman. I got luggage. I got LED lights for fish tanks. Uh, some mumbo jumbo here. I got all these here, these cheap tanks here. Filters, LED lights. Uh, one tank over there that needs to be cleaned. Still going through this stuff here. I did find this. Let me show you this. Um, there you go, 925 silver bracelet. That's a nice find. Uh, computer, I don't know. And then there's there's all types of stuff in here. Sanford's on on uh, burnt copies. <laughs> um, lots of stuff here. Uh, household stuff. There's a drill here, a bunch of soldering guns. There's a purse. Uh, just going through and all this stuff here. Tools, power inverters, uh, BB guns, headphones. Uh, where was this ones I was looking at? All right, so we got these. I think he might have worked at a phone company. That does pretty well there. These here, 200 EPs. Look these up. Like 40, 50, 60 bucks. Uh, got testers, craftsman testers. There's a bunch of stuff here, guys. Uh, there's another one of these here. Uh, we got some flukes here. Got one there. What else we got here? DVD, fluke. So we got two of those. That's nice. Uh, hey, got some rum. And the dumping that out. There's a couple watches that I came across. Nothing too crazy. This is, uh, what is this one? Charles Raymond and a Seiko. Change the battery on that, clean the face up, get rid of that one. This one here, I was digging through that box of uh, naughtiness. <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah, we got this glowfish tank. It's not new, but it's all there. I was in this box and um, of the naughtiness, and this was in there. So um, I opened it up and uh, got ourselves a Nintendo Game Boy SP camera in here and then I was sitting there I'm like okay games please please be games and bam boom here we go got some games with the Game Boy Advance uh what we got here Street Fighter looks like no the King of Fighters Neo Bleed what we got here Metroid and uh, Tetris Worlds and Super Mario 2 so that's cool. I'm assuming this uh, is pretty gross. I have to clean it up, test that, see if that works. Maybe have the charger in here. If not, I've got some extras in the garage. But uh, yeah, still digging through this stuff, guys. Um, there's more stuff at the unit. So far, I think I'll do pretty well. Uh, there was that one item I showed earlier. It was the um, scanner. Uh, I believe it's brand in the box. Retails $399 on Amazon, brand new. If it's used, yeah, I gotta look at it a little further, but used, it's 300, rank 32. So just that one piece there will pay me my, back my money and pretty much doubles the money on what I spent. But uh, yeah, still going through this junk. <laughs> we will be here for a while, but uh, not finding too much stuff that's garbage, which is a good thing. So pretty excited so far. And as always, we'll, we'll get stuff listed, get it sold, tallied up, make some money. Just open this box here. It appears to be a direct TV receiver. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, it's got the HD DVR. So let's see if we got a power cord for this in our remote at some point. And uh, lift that bad boy up. These are nice boxes, nice cushion on them. So I got some extra ones over here. Those didn't have any um, units in them. There's empty boxes. So I'll just end up reusing it. Because you got to reduce, return, and reuse. All right, we're gonna have some uh, some good times. Got this cool looking sword that came out of the unit. A little DVD. This is brand new. CCTV power supply distribution box. Now we're getting into the goodies. Prescriptions. 
hollow points and some Bacardi gold so we can win the championship. All right, so everything is out of the van. We're done with the unit. We've got some tables here. These look like these cheap Ikea tables with some mirrors. I've got a boat ton of fish filters and lights. A lot of the LED lights at these are nice. Um, more busted tables there. A box, there's, I got like three Christmas trees. <laughs> so, uh, not sure I'm going to do with all that. Uh, three area rugs. This is a box of clothing we're donating. One, two, three fish tanks. Supposed to have a fourth one in the garage already. Full size. Looks like maybe two Christmas trees. I don't know. Uh, what else? Oh, got this grill here, but it is missing the some stuff on it because um, how are you gonna cook on that? <laughs> so uh, that's that. Uh, hey, got a gas can. Those are all books there. I haven't even looked through them to see if there's anything good with Amazon. And um, what else? Here's the freezer. It is uh, the power on. It's running. A little wear on here. Got a ding right there. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, got this nice A-frame shelf. Uh, what do we got here? Just some software, some stuff like that. Some personal stuff, looks like. Some kind of box, some writing on I don't know what it is. Garbage bags. Shelving. Got one shelf there. It looks like a CD, DVD shelf thing. So, uh, oh. Got a Grey Goose Vodka. Maybe I'll drink that and... Enjoy that while listening to some Christmas music. <laughs> no, probably just gonna end up throwing this out. Um, I threw the rum out because uh, you don't know what's in these. Plus, I'm not a really a big hard liquor type of guy, so uh, yeah, I think overall we'll do pretty well. Um, give you an idea in terms of garbage, not much, I'll be honest with you. Um, this is one of the units, uh, one of the units I've gotten here that doesn't have a lot of garbage. Um, can here, it's filled three quarters of the way, but I would say I filled it up halfway with stuff. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Didn't seem to be a, a crackhead unit, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, that's what we picked up. Okay, let's go over some of the highlights of what items I sold for profit out of this unit. Um, this first batch here, some rugs that came out of the unit. Uh, there was three different ones. They were all three different styles. Anyway, I sold off... Uh, all three of them for a grand total of $35 on Facebook and offer up. At first, I didn't know what these were until I put them together. Um, They're just these Ikea tables where somebody put some mirrors on them. There was actually three tables. The third one was actually broken. So uh, I sold these really fast on offer up for $10, and I threw in the broken ones. Uh, the lady wanted them. She's like, well, I could use these. I can fix them. I'm like, take them. <laughs> so $10 richer there. Cleaned up this deep freezer here, and uh, it sold within the couple hours of me listing it. Lots of action. That's always the case with deep freezers. Got 50 bucks for this one on offer up. These gun rifle bags and cases here sold rather quick. I did sell one at the flea market and I sold two on offer up for a grand total of $55. Uh, so that was a bonus finding three brand new uh, cases in, a, in this locker. On to what sold online. Uh, I had two of these Fluke Networks impact uh, punch down tools and uh, they sold individually for $29 each, so not a bad flip, uh, 29 so almost 60 bucks for just two of them. Pretty cool. This Parkway Systems PL240C uh, High Power Tone Test Set, untested, sold as is. Took an offer of $40 with free shipping on this unit on eBay. This was the best score in the unit. This is this neat ND1000 desktop scanner digital filing system. It was brand new and it sold for $160 plus $33.05 for a total of $193.05 shipped. I ended up selling all of the clothing except for this one particular item at the flea market. So just one item I listed online, and this is a PJ Mark men's black long military full zip trench coat size 4XL, and it sold for $40 with free shipping. Here's a Harris TS22 Lineman Test Red Butt Set Handset telephone line tester with clamps, and this sold for $55 with free shipping on eBay. Tempo Progressive Electronics 200 EP Inductive Amplifier uh, Tracer. Uh, it was tested and works, and it sold for $49.95 with free shipping. This Dremel 3000 Variable Speed Rotary Tool with accessories was tested and uh, fully functional. Uh, ended up selling for $38.95 with free shipping. This was actually another nice find. It's HID Genuine Prox Key 2 Key Fobs. 
proximity card lot of eight. They were brand new. This sold for $80 with free shipping. And the last item I sold online, eBay again, Progressive Electronics 200 EP inductive amplifier, fully tested and working. This sold for $29.95 with free shipping. All right, I want to throw some more details into uh, this unit here. Um, I did keep some of the stuff that was there. I kept the safe, uh, this bookshelf, which is right behind me here. Uh, that piece of pottery that's right by that axe, I kept that, that came out of that unit. The Xmas, uh, Christmas tree that was there, it's a pretty nice Christmas tree. We actually used it last uh, Christmas. Uh, I kept the ammo, I kept the gas can, uh, kept the Game Boy, it, uh, SP I believe it was, with some games, I kept that. Um, I kept the 925 silver. I do hoard a lot of silver and jewelry when it comes to buying storage units. Um, uh, there were some watches that I hoarded, and then there was uh, a BB gun that I hoarded. Um, the boxing gloves I gave to my friend down the street, and he gave it to a kid that's, uh, uh, I guess he was getting into boxing, so that was kind of a walk away there, just a, a freebie he gave away. Um, stuff that's still for sale out of that original unit from that time ago, we have that walker, which I don't know where I put it. <laughs> I don't have no idea where I put that walker, and then there was that debt into cash, whatever that was, program that was in the video, um, that's still listed for sale. So overall, not too bad. Um, you know, uh, some of the stuff like the, the Game Boy and the games will probably sell it as soon as I get around to it. Uh, the BB gun I'll probably end up selling, but just for whatever it is, I put it aside. And, um, and so that's what's so great about buying storage units. Is you'll find stuff that you'll personally use, like, like this bookshelf. This is the bookshelf that came out of there. It looks pretty nice. And um, it serves its purpose. Kim's, Kim likes it, so uh, we decided to keep it. Okay, so to sum up everything here, I spent uh, 160 and some change for the unit. I put some money in in terms for gas. I also paid a friend of mine to help me move some of the stuff back in my house. And um, uh, the totals here, I'm going to run the totals on you guys. Uh, I sold $265 at the flea market worth of inventory. Local scene, that's is an offer up, Facebook marketplace, etc., etc. $280. Online was six twelve and some change, and then there was eighteen dollars and two cents in cash in that whole uh, unit there itself. So after fees, after everything was involved there, I basically turned that uh, that dollar amount to uh, to around nine hundred dollars. So uh, let's say it was what one sixty one ninety about about two hundred twenty dollars and nine hundred dollars. Not too bad. Uh, again, it was a quick and easy storage unit. Uh, just went in there, grabbed all the stuff, and there was no trash. That was the beauty of it. There was a little bit of trash, but not typical for what you see in most units a lot of times. Um, I think I had half a garbage can of trash. So you're probably wondering why did YouTuber ban this video? Uh, well, originally what happened was there was a clip I had to remove where me and Kim were going through that locker, and on two separate occasions we found uh, nudie stuff, <laughs> nudie DVDs, right? And um, I freeze framed it and uh, did zooms in on it. You couldn't see anything, honestly. And um, but it, it was there, you know. And people kept tagging it and putting it on the comments, you know, 32 mark. You know, there's there's nudity. Uh, I looked at it multiple times. Kim looked at it multiple times. We couldn't see anything. Obviously, from the blur of the image, there was you know a sense that somebody was probably naked, right? But uh, that was the reason why. So I'm assuming the the people on uh, YouTube. Uh, reporting it and then uh, the appeal I lost it so um, but I wanted to make this video here today to kind of give you an explanation so you can see uh, another video I put out there uh, the storage units and actually how much I made from the storage unit so thanks for watching today's video hope you're gonna go out there and make some money whichever way you do <laughs> however you make money whether it's at a jobby job whether it's at the thrift shop whether it's buying storage units whatever it is whatever makes you happy right so uh, go out there be great till next time I'm out here peace vlog over